Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is Ethan. Today let's talk about Napoleon's penis. Napoleon's penis was allegedly amputated during an autopsy shortly after Napoleon's death in 1821. Since then, it has passed through several owners, including A.S.W. Rosenbach, who exhibited in New York City in 1927. It was purchased by John K. Latimer in 1977 and is still held in his family who keep it as a private item. Napoleon, after his abdication in Fontainebleau, 4th April 1814, by Paul Delaroche, Napoleon was exiled to St. Helena in the Atlantic Ocean after losing the Battle of Waterloo. He died on the Isle on May 5, 1821. After his death, an autopsy was conducted and Francisco Antomachi, the doctor conducting the autopsy, cut his penis off. Along with several other body parts, it is unclear whether the cut was intentional or accidental. Antomachi may have been bribed to cut it off by Napoleon's chaplain as a revenge for Napoleon calling him impotent. The penis passed it into the possession of Napoleon's chaplain who smuggled it out of St. Helena to his home in Corsica. It remained in the Press family until 1916 when Max Bros Limited, a bookselling company based in London, purchased it. In 1924, A.S.W. Rosenbach, a Philadelphia-based bookseller, purchased it. The penis went on display in 1927 at the New York City's Museum of French Art. A reviewer present at the exhibition from Time described it as similar to a maltreated strip of buckskin shoelace. Others present considered it looked like a piece of leather or chevaled eel. The preserved penis has been described as barely recognizable as a human body part, and its authenticity is unclear. A documentary that aired on Channel 4, Dead Famous DNA, described it as very small and measured it to be 1 inch 2.5 cm. It is not known what size it was during Napoleon's lifetime. The item's current owner has allowed 10 people to see it, and it has never been recorded on camera. Thank you for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe to support me. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Bye.